So hey everybody, it's Sunday. Today is July the 30th and I did wake up. I did go for a bike ride, but man, I'm telling you, some days you just don't feel like working out. But the difference is, is every day you set a goal to work out or even on the bad days, you get up and you go. And you do the best you can for that day. Yeah, sure, your times may not be fast or you may not have the energy or the strength that you normally do, but you don't let nothing stop you. You just keep on keeping on. And that's what I did today. This is lap one. I don't know until I get to my turnaround point what I'm actually gonna do. It's like that most every day, but especially today, because I really don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure, I gotta fill that out. Whether it's gonna be two laps or I'm gonna call it quits on that one. But look, I did the hard part. The hard part is to not get back in the bed. The hard part is actually making it that first mile. I have to start off up a big hill on in in. That's not nice, but I have to do it every day when I'm cutting wind. I, I have this one path I ride, and I know a lot of people go, well, buddy, why don't you ride multiple paths? You can go to all kinds of directions. You don't have to go the same way every day. Well, I like going the same way every day. I get used to the actual flow of the path. I know where the hills are. I know where the flat spots are. I know where the speed spots are. So actually, a lot of days I'm in like a remote groundhog day, if you would. I see the same thing, the same way, almost every day. But like today, the energy level is not there. Well, let's say, what could that be? Why? What did I do yesterday that's different than the day before? Well, one thing is, I ate too many sweets. I ate some brownies. I thought I could eat just one. No, I had to have five. You can't do that. Kind of late at night, I was watching MMA. Daniel Cormier, Cormier, DC, going against John Jones. John Jones won. Daniel Cormier, it bees that way sometimes. Don't quit. That's what I tell myself. Don't quit. You can do it. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. <laughs> All right, I got to go.
half of us are triathletes. Get a picture of that bike. That sure. Yeah, I like them wheels set. It's cool. Oh. It's, it's a good. It's a good yeah, nine, yeah. eight or nine years old. So your shop um, yeah. fixes bikes and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, full service. Cool. Good I, guys. I dropped a bottom bracket last last week, I think it was. And, oh yeah. Yeah, it blew up. How far are you going today? By the time I get through with what I'm doing, it'll be 46. And yeah. It's really slow today. It's, I, it's good weather today, though. Take your time. I, I am. I, I stayed up late, ate brownies, watched the MMA fights. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was like 12 o'clock. So, yeah, I can tell this is going to be a trash day. <laughs> I'll foul this in the way with, uh, I, I did a good effort. I always say, hard work pays off. But, man, you got to do it. And then you, you get brownies. Uh, and then you get to eat brownies. You get to eat brownies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's what it is. Tell everybody about your bike shop. Hey, Joe. Joe, come talk about, come talk about the bike outlet a little bit. Plug it real quick. What of it? So you fix bikes? Yep. Full and service. Tune ups, all tune that ups. kind of stuff. You yeah. sell parts. Bike fits, accessories, parts, tools. Oh, got Orbea, Scott. Yeah. Cannondale. Orbea, Scott Cannondale dealer. Okay. Um, Orca. Orca. Yeah, we specialize in tri bikes. Wetsuits and tri gear there. Okay. We're doing triathlons. All right. And, I, and you, that, you're going to sell that kit. Are you? They have a few extras there. I can't guarantee sizes, but we have triathlon gear, we have tri shorts, bike jerseys. Okay. I'll have to check it out Monday and see what y'all got. Yeah. Take a video at the store, let everybody right. see it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to cut it off on these people. I have to camera shot them already. See y'all. Be safe. never ride in a big group. I, I'd like to do it sometimes, but I don't know. I just never have done it. Just not, just I don't know. Just haven't done it. Wow. I'd like to get me some of them fancy racing wheels they got. Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Stay tuned. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it by any means. What would you say about your 20s? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it somewhere in between? How would you look back on that, that decade? In your um, life? I don't really like you, Luke, so I'm not going to answer your question. Right.